Hi guys, my name is Mayank and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about book summaries and whether you should actually read book summaries and what are the pros and cons of reading book summaries. Uh, the answer to the question is not a straightforward one. It's a little bit complicated of whether you should read book summaries or not. So do stay till the end of the video to find uh, the correct answer and the correct approach of the same. So I first actually want to talk about how book summaries came into being and this is what I feel has happened around the world. I feel that there is a lot of uh, sudden uh, surge in people who want you to read books. And the reason for that is that people have suddenly come to know about the benefits of reading books, whether it is because of the increase in the internet consumption. And that is how people have come to know about some of the great books and what are the benefits of reading books, how they can really, really impact your life. And when people see other people talking about these things, uh, they think that they also need to read books. But then actually a problem comes in. The thing is that reading a book is not something which is easy. It's not everyone's cup of tea. You cannot just pick up a book and complete reading it. You would need to spend around 10, 15, 20 hours depending on the length of the book to complete it. So that is where book summaries come in. People think that, okay, I don't have that much time. Let's just pick up a book summary. I'll get the key ideas of uh, the book and I will be good with it. But the answer is not that straightforward. It, you cannot just pick up a book summary and start reading it and I will let you know why that's the case. So actually the intention behind a book summary is really good. Uh, people feel that they should really get benefits of reading books just because they do not have enough time or they are busy with their life and their job and anything they are working on. You don't feel that you should miss out on all the good things about books. So that's where book summaries come in. Uh, the companies or the apps which are uh, creating book summaries, they are trying to uh, tell people that, okay, you don't have enough time, read this book summary, you will be as good as reading the book. The main word which I want to use here is key ideas. You're getting the key ideas from the book and you're just reading that. Now, you need to understand this thing that the key ideas or the book summary which you're reading is written by someone else, not the author, not someone you know, but some entirely different person. You might not even have any idea who that person is or where he or she's living. Okay, so one thing about books I have always talked about is that not everything you read in a book is going to be important. Not everything you read is going to be applicable in your life. So when someone is creating a book summary of a particular book, that person is writing down the important ideas according to him or her. Now, the key ideas of the book according to him or her might not actually be the most important things for you. Okay, now I'll give you a great example. This book, Atomic Habits, it's one of my all-time favorite non-fiction books and I have gained so much from this book. Now let's say I sit down, I have read the book, I sit down and write a book summary of it and I just give it to you. I meet you somewhere in a coffee shop and I give it to you and tell you that just read this book summary, you'll get all of the key ideas from the book. But, but these are the key ideas from a book which is around, around 300 pages long. So the key ideas from the book are as per my knowledge, as per my understanding. I would hardly have written one or 2% of the length of the book as the summary. And it might not actually be the things which you want to know from the book or which are going to be beneficial to you. So a book summary written by me is probably not going to be useful to you. And that is the problem which I have with book summaries. We do have a problem here, right? Uh, book summaries were made with a good intention, but the solution has not really come and they are not actually beneficial. So what is the solution here? The solution here is a book summary written by you exclusively for you. I'll give you an example. Uh, whenever I read a book, I first read a non-fiction book on a Kindle. And whenever I'm reading on Kindle, I highlight a lot. I highlight all the important points from the book which I feel are going to be useful to me in future. And when I'm highlighting those words, they are getting stored in the Kindle. And when I finish the book, I have an option of exporting these highlights in a PDF form 
and I can just read that PDF. Now that PDF is a book summary if you think about it. So that is actually a book summary written by me, for me. I have read the book, I have understood these important points and it's a book summary for myself. Now I know these are actually the points which are going to be useful to me. So that is the solution. You have to read the book. You cannot take shortcuts. I don't think shortcuts in life are going to get you anywhere. Read the book, spend time in reading the book, understand what the author is trying to say, what is going to be useful to you, highlight those things and just export it and just keep it for yourself. And then start with applying those things in your life and see what are the things which are going to be applicable to you or maybe are not going to be applicable to you. That is how you should go with book summaries. That is how I have been reading book summaries created by myself. I have um, I have three books here. Uh, these are actually hard copies of books which I have purchased, but I had read them on Kindle first. And I think a few more nonfiction books which I had read on a Kindle highlighted them stored them on a pdf form and then started reading them and continuously i have been reading them again and again to find out how i can apply them and they have really been life-changing that's all i had for this video i hope you found something useful from it and if you found something useful please press the like button and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye